Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I've got your word for today. Have you ever said something and immediately regretted it? I certainly have. Do you know why that is? Well, simply put, because our hearts are full of evil. Today's scripture, Matthew 12, verses 33 through 37 says, Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good person, out of his good treasure, brings forth good, and the evil person, out of his evil treasure, brings forth evil. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. What is in your heart will come out from your mouth, and you will be giving account for it at some point in heaven. So what should we do? The Apostle Paul offered a solution to the heart problem. In chapter 4, verse 8 of his letter to the Philippians, he says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Some practical recommendations. Start your day with Jesus. Daily devotionals are named that because they are intended to be done daily. If you don't know where to start, I encourage you to take advantage of one of my favorite tools to assist in daily study of God's Word. YouVersion has a free Bible online as well as a free mobile app, and they're really easy to find on the web at www.bible.com and www.bible.com forward slash app for the downloadable application. There you'll have access to numerous devotionals that are searchable by topic, season of life, and or book of the Bible. I'm a fan of listening to praise and worship music to keep my thoughts on our Heavenly Father. All the popular streaming services have praise music that you can stream. Spotify, Apple, Amazon, or YouTube music services can turn your home, car, or office into your own private worship service. You can even listen to a playback of any of our messages from Calvary from those same services and are on our website at calvaryaz.com forward slash sermons. And finally, and possibly most importantly, prayer works. The more time we spend talking with God, the more he will align our hearts to his. Deliberately starting our day with Jesus, the more we will be doing what Paul suggested, focusing on things that are true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, and excellent. On the day of judgment, when you are to give an account for every careless word, rather than being condemned, I pray you are justified. Have a great day.